Daniel Cleary was born on the Borough Road, Anglesboro, probably in this house, to Michael Cleary and Mary Leary. Mary Leary was Michael's second wife. His first wife, Mary Martin, had died at the onset of the famine, during or after the birth of my great-grandfather, John Cleary. Daniel was only five years of age when his half-brothers, Denny and John, left to fight for the Pope against Garibaldi. In or around 1900, Daniel and Nora Cleary, me Casey, crossed the Liffey with their five children and settled in a tenement at Upper Dorset Street, just north of Lower Dominic Street. In December 2007, I caught up with my relative and cousin, Patrick O'Hannigan, hey, who dug me in search. Yeah, no, I don't. I think it... Well, it was well, 70, wasn't it? So they've moved from 21, which I reckon is probably the last house up yeah, there, around yeah. about, over to this fire station. Yeah. In a tenement at 19 Upper Dorset Street, tenement identical to these dilapidated ones now standing at 12 and 13 Upper Dorset Street. The Clearies were swept up in the march towards war with the British. During the War of Independence, their house was a safe haven for Republicans. Michael Collins used to jump the back fence, I was told. So Patrick, I think this is the laneway that the women talked about, where Michael Collins is to jump the back fence. Round to Vaughan's Hotel. It all changed when Collins signed the treaty in 1921. Although the eldest Cleary boy Thomas had joined the British Army in 1917, when he was working for Guinness, the family's hatred of the British was unequivocal. Moira Cleary, or Molly as she was known, was 30 years of age when arrested by the Free State Army in February 1923. A couple of months later, her sister Nellie, on the left-hand side of the photo, with the pearls around her neck, a mere 17 years of age, was also arrested and dumped in Kilmainham. There was no place for the treaty in the Cleary House in Dorset Street. I reckon that the house closest to that final building on the left is 21 up at Dorset Street. Or in fact, that's where 21 up at Dorset Street would have stood. Behind that is Granby Lane, where according to the Cleary women and their relatives, Michael Collins used to wander and jump the back fence.